I'm going to leave these in, in your offices. At the last scheduled Boston City Council meeting of the year, a festive atmosphere. There were gifts, smiles, and group pictures. But also tension over a holiday party not everyone on the city council was invited to. And I don't get offended. You don't want me at a party. I'm not going to come to a party. So, you know. It all started with this email sent out by a city staffer on Tuesday on behalf of Mayor Michelle Wu, inviting all city councilors to an electeds of color holiday party on Wednesday night. About 15 minutes later, the same staffer sending out an email apologizing for sending out the invite to all city councilors. The mayor saying the party is just intended for minority elected officials. There are many, many events that are private events for all different sorts of groups. And so we've clarified that and look forward to seeing everyone at uh, one of the other dozens of opportunities to celebrate. That. All right, my friends, get ready because it's showtime. I got another great video. I'm continuing the crazy saga of Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. As you may know by now, this mayor has decided to have a colored only a electors of color is what she called it Christmas party, which basically means if you look like me, you can't go to the party. Can you believe that? Using taxpayer money, taxpayer phones, equipment, computers. And in the year 2023, you have a mayor who campaigned and in her acceptance speech said she was going to be a mayor for all of the people of the great city of Boston. Well, that's not true because she has already broken that promise by having a Christmas party. And again, if you look like me, you can't join the party. Outrageous, isn't it? Well, let's get right into it and let's take a look at this video to start off with. An invitation issue has sparked some tension in Boston City Hall. This all after an email went out to all city councilors about a holiday party when it was only meant for councilors of color. Our NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg joining us live outside City Hall. Eli, how is Mayor Wu reacting tonight? Priscilla, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu says this is a party that has been held for more than a decade without any issues. An email was sent out to all city councilors about the party yesterday, but several minutes later, that invite was rescinded for some of the council members. I'm going to leave these in, in your offices. At the last scheduled Boston City Council meeting of the year, a festive atmosphere. There were gifts, smiles, and group pictures. But also tension over a holiday party not everyone on the city council was invited to. And I don't get offended. You don't want me at a party. I'm not going to come to a party. So, you know. It all started with this email sent out by a city staffer on Tuesday on behalf of Mayor Michelle Wu, inviting all city councilors to an electeds of color holiday party on Wednesday night. About 15 minutes later, the same staffer sending out an email apologizing for sending out the invite to all city councilors. The mayor saying the party is just intended for minority elected officials. There are many, many events that are private events for all different sorts of groups. And so we've clarified that and look forward to seeing everyone at uh, one of the other dozens of opportunities to celebrate. That. That's not true, folks. They do not have events that are segregated solely on the basis of race. I've never heard of something to where a government has a meeting and says, oh, if you're white, you cannot attend this meeting. So that is not a true statement. If you know something I don't know, be sure to put in the comments below. But that's not true. The, holidays together. Thanks, the mayor Thanks. says Thanks. the electeds of color holiday party has been held for more than a decade and there's never been an issue before this. The two city councilors attending the event defending the party. It's not at all divisive. It's creating spaces for people and communities and identities with shared experiences to come together. I think somebody wanted to make this an inflammatory issue and they've clearly succeeded. I have two microphones in my face asking me about an annual holiday party that we have uh, and whether or not I should you know, care about their feelings that there's a holiday party for people of color that they weren't invited to because they don't share those experiences. But Frank Baker attending his last scheduled city council meeting says the party sends a wrong message for a council long plagued by infighting. I think on holidays is a time for people, everybody to get together. So we'll see what happens the way it goes. I do find it divisive, but you know, what are you, you going to do about it? And that party is going on right now. The mayor said there are several other holiday parties in the coming days, and she hopes all city councilors come to one or all of those 
as this continues to unfold. Well, I don't know about you folks, but there's no way in the world I would attend that mayor's party. No way, no how. And it's really a shame that you have council members, black, white, or otherwise, trying to come to the defense of the mayor. This is indefensible. This is wrong. I learned a long time ago, when you make a mistake, fine, mistakes happen. But you don't keep digging the hole when you've dug yourself into a hole. you got to stop and say, hey, I made a mistake I apologize. I'd like to move on. Or I've made a mistake. I apologize. What do I need to do to make this right? It's just that simple. We're all human. We make a mistake. But Mayor, Mayor Wu, you need to either take the advice that I'm giving you and apologize to your constituents without any type of qualifying whatever, or you need to resign, ma'am. It's just that simple. Either apologize to the people of Boston, or you need to resign today. That's what I'm calling for. This is outrageous. It offends my sensitivities 100%, and it should offend you. I encourage you, if you're listening to me today, to contact the mayor's office in the great city of Boston and tell her how you feel. I also want you to tell me how you feel. Put it in the comments below. Folks, we have to stand up and throw sunshine on something that is wrong. We all have to take a stand. When we see an injustice like this, we have to go ahead and call it out for what it is. When something's wrong, it's wrong. And I don't know about you, if you want a colorblind society, then we need to act like a colorblind society. I'm tired of these individuals saying, oh, things always have to be equitable and we have to make up for mistakes in the past. What does that even mean? Nothing in life is equitable, but we can definitely start with having a true colorblind society. It's just that simple. It's indefensible to have a Christmas party in a government capacity using government taxpayer money and you disinvite whites. I want to be clear about something. She had her staffer invite everybody that's on the city council there in Boston and then they had to turn around and disinvite those individuals. What an insult. How would you feel about that? Have a conversation with me and please put in the comments below. I'd like to know how you would feel about this. I know how I would feel and it would not be good. I have also had many people tell me something to the effect of, hey, this is a party that they have had for many, many years. As a matter of fact, the mayor has said this exact line herself. This is something that's been going on for many years. It's her tradition here in the city of Boston. So what? If I was a Klan's member and we had a function that we routinely do year after year after year where we put capes on our head and we burn crosses, that would not be acceptable under any circumstance. This type of party, this type of racist party should not be allowed. Christmas is a time to remember Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It's just that simple. It's a time to come together with family and friends. It's not a time to keep boxing people by their skin color or by some other racist criteria and then cause problems for everybody like this. It's wrong. It needs to be called out for what it is and it needs to stop. I want to leave you with one other final thought. The Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, John Roberts, a while back said the following, and I'm paraphrasing, but he did say, if you want to stop dividing people by race and in effect put a stop to racism, then you need to stop segregating people by race. What a novel and exciting idea. It's just that simple. If you want a colorblind society and you truly want to stop this racism or what they now call neo-racism, then stop it. Stop splitting everybody by race. Stop talking about it like it's a big deal. We are all children of God. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ, and we need to start acting accordingly. It's just that simple, folks. This is not rocket science. This is common sense. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you're thinking. This Christmas season, I wish everybody out there peace, love, and joy in this holiday season. Always, folks, keep that mind free. Never give up. I am J.R. Dukes.